it's all going to come to an end. Right? So that's just, you know, a couple of paragraphs from the whole speech. Um, I'm going to read this quickly. I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to skim for it. Right? So, uh, this is from Cliff Notes. I'll, I'll throw this in the description box as well. Right? It says, Critical Essays, the meaning of July 4th for the Negro. Right? It says, Frederick Douglass was a fiery orator and his speeches were often published in various abolitionist newspapers. Among his well known speeches is the meaning of July 4th for the Negro, presented in Rochester, New York. Okay, like. Alright. Alright. Right, he had been invited to speak about what the 4th of July means for America's black population. And while the first part of his speech praises, praises what the founding fathers did for this country, his speech soon develops into a condemnation of the attitude of American society towards slavery, okay, towards so-called black people. Okay? Because, you know, what, what the, the so-called white people did was great for their country. Okay? They benefited a, a lot from everything, all the wickedness that they did. Okay, for the country. Okay, but for for you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you 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 slaves. It, it, it all this was to benefit you. Okay. So Douglas begins his speech by addressing Mr. President, friends, and fellow uh, citizens. So here he is likely addressing the president of the Anti-Slavery Society, not the president of the United States. It is noteworthy that Douglas considers considers himself a citizen and equal to the spectators in attendance. Throughout this speech, as well as his life, Douglas advocated equal justice and rights, as well as citizenship for blacks. Okay? But, you know, you all got this so-called citizenship now, but you're not on equal footing with the so-called white man. Okay, you're still a lesser citizen, right? He begins his speech by modestly apologizing for being nervous in front of the crowd, blah, blah, blah. I said he, he recognized that he has come a long way since he escaped from slavery. Right? He tells the audience that they have gathered to celebrate the 4th of July, but reminds them that the nation is young. Okay, he believes it can be it can be made good. Right? America can't be made good, man. Okay. You know, this guy he, he brought out this speech uh, to, to, to criticize the so-called white people. But you know, as well as being like, as well as doing that, he was still kind of Uncle Tom, man. Just like the majority of you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are today. You're still a bunch of Uncle Toms, man. Okay, believing in America, believing in your society, how it can change, how it can get better. Okay, fighting for rights that you should you should ha naturally have. Okay, but you're begging the so-called white man for them. Okay, it just shows you that. You are beneath, man, and he is still your ruler. Okay, having to beg him for rights and simple needs, man. Okay. And, um, okay, I'll drop down. Right, so Douglas then asks a rhetorical question. Are the great principles of political freedom and of natural justice embodied in that declaration of independence extended to us blacks? Is it extended? The answer is no, it was not. Okay, so-called black people have not received justice yet. Okay, and that is why we require Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai to come and bring us justice. Okay, to, to destroy our enemies, man. Okay, to save us out of captivity. Okay. You niggas, Hispanics, and Native Americans have not received justice yet. Okay, and the so the so-called white man ain't, ain't gonna give it to you. All right? He pushes forward his thesis, the fourth of July is yours, not mine. Okay? Showing you that it's, it's about you so-called white people and not you, you Negroes, man. So indeed, he says, to ask a black person to celebrate the white man's freedom from oppression and tyranny is inhuman mockery and sacrilegious irony. 
By sacrilegious, he means the evil defilement of sacred American ideals, democracy, freedom, and equal rights. Because, like I said, you didn't get those. <laughs> okay, you're not equal, right? So it's it's a damn fucking mockery, man. So the real subject of his speech he concedes is American slavery. He condemns America for being untrue to its founding principles. Okay, but like I said, it was never designed for every man that was on the face of America. Okay? Slaves don't have equal rights. They were never intended to have equal rights. Okay? Since it's been untrue to its founding principles, its past and its present, the audience must fulfill what the founders of of the country advocated to the slave, uh, sorry, to, which the country advocated to the slave. Douglas tells the audience, "Your Fourth of July is a sham. Your boasted liberty and unholy license for enslaving blacks. Your shouts of liberty and equality, hollow mockery." Okay, and that is all it is, man. So, like I say, if you participate in in these these events, these celebrations, or really have nothing to do, you you fucking idiots. Okay. You're, on, you're a damn idiot. You want to say it again? You're just a damn idiot. You're a fool. Okay? Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, I feel like I've read enough, really. I really just want to use get get some scriptures now, to be honest. Okay, because you know, message ain't changing, man. If you participate in this, you're a damn idiot. Okay, believing that Fourth of July has something to do with your independence, man. As a as a a Negro, man, you're a damn fool. Okay, but um, the scriptures going to tell you the same thing. Okay, and I'm gonna start here, Mark chapter two, verse ten. Right. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Okay, America is not your rest. This is not your kingdom, man. Okay, no, neither is Britain, neither is it, is it France, Germany, any of these places, anywhere that you are in the world right now is not your rest. Okay, this is not your kingdom. This is the kingdom and dominion of the wicked. Okay, the wicked are in, are in rulership, man. Judges 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. This is not your kingdom. Okay, you have no part in this, man. You are here as a slave. You're here for punishment. Okay, you're here in slavery because of because of your transgressions, man. Okay, this is not your rest. Okay, so stop trying to act like it, like it is or could be. This ain't the place for you, man. This place is going to be destroyed. Okay? It says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay, so believing in this place, okay, wishing it could, you know, it, it could benefit you and, and be better for you. Okay, this place is, is vile and, and polluted, man, and you're being polluted with it. Believing in that. In them so-called American ideals. This, this whole place is built on blood and evil. They, they are the American ideals, man. To steal and to kill. Okay, that is the nature of the thief, man. Okay, because this is the thief. Okay, they're the ideals, man. If you want something, you, you better steal and kill to grab it. Okay, that is the American ideals, man. That's what they base, this, base all this on. That's how they gained the land. And that's how they built upon it. Okay. But that is also the blessing of Esau, the so-called white man. He was blessed with that sword. That he was going to take shit from people. Okay? This is why we know this is him. Okay, so if you believe in that man, yeah, you're, you're defiled with this place. Okay? And you're going to be destroyed with this place. Okay? Um, go into Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 30. Um, I'm going to read from verse 1. I believe I'm going uh, down to 3, right? It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Okay? A lot of you people, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man, who are the true the true children of the, of the 
children of Israel, okay, you don't con you don't consult the words of the scriptures, but you don't consult the Lord and the things that He said. Okay, you you but you're quick to go, uh, um, counsel with the wicked, your so-called neighbors. Okay, these heathen nations. Okay, you 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 you've cleaved yourself unto them. You know, you happen to go receive their counsel or counsel from somebody else, pretty much. Okay, but you don't you don't seek the counsel of the Lord. Okay, which is the scriptures, right? It says that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit. You're not in the spirit of the Lord, man. Okay, you're you're in the spirit of 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 Esau of Satan. Okay, that they may add sin to sin. Because that is all you're doing in this place, man. All you're doing is, is doing wickedly in these nations, right? So they walk to go down into Egypt and I have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Okay, you trust in the so-called white man that he's going to deliver you a better life. Okay, but this whole time he's been nothing but your enemy. Okay, we've been enslaved by this man, this race of people, and you expect them to turn around and not, and now help us, and and to bring them up, bring us up onto their level. They ain't gonna do that, man. They ain't gonna do that. That would be absurd for them to do that. We was brought here to be exploited, and we continue to be exploited to this very day. Okay, and and you know this is verse three says, so therefore the strength of Pharaoh shall be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. This place is going to destroy you, man. Okay, you you you, you already asking all these questions like, well, why can't I make this? Why can't I be this? This place isn't for you, man. Okay, this place isn't isn't made for you to make it to prosper. This isn't a place for that, man. You're meant to be in slavery. Okay. You're meant to be under the curses, and that is exactly what you receive, man. You're, all you're receiving in this place are the curses. Okay, we shall get that later. Okay, but this is, this place is going to be the destruction of you, man. Okay, because you believe in it too much. Like there's that, like there's some way to live in this kingdom, man. When it's not designed for you, you was never meant to prosper in this world, man. You was here to work. And to die, and to catch hell. That was it. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter forty-six and verse twenty-five. Oops. It's lucky. All right. It says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saith, "Behold, I will punish the multitude of No and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all of them that trust in him." Okay, so you, you, you the so here, here is the so called white man's put you into slavery, and now you trust him because he so called set you free. Okay, I say so called because you're not free. Okay, but now you, you, you kind of trust him, you rely upon him to do right by you. Okay, now again, that's idiotic, man. Okay, and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Okay, but the most high gonna gonna <laughs> destroy you, man, with 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 America, with all you know, the the uh, elites, all the people that are in it. You're gonna be destroyed with them, man, because you wanna be like them. You want what they want. Okay, but you can't have what they want, man. And what you should be wanting is the kingdom of heaven. But you're not looking for that. You're looking for a piece of the so-called white man's kingdom. But it's not for you. Okay, like I said, you don't, you're not uh, counseling the Lord. Okay, you should be seeking the kingdom of heaven, man, and you guys are not doing that. Okay, you believe in the so-called white man more than you believe in the Most High. Okay. So whoever puts their trust in Egypt, man, they're gonna be destroyed. Okay. Now this is um, this is Sirach chapter twelve, verse ten. Right, because you're not meant to trust your enemies, man. Like I said, they put you into slavery. You're not meant to be trusting them. They're obviously your enemy. Okay. 
But if you want to play buddy-buddy with him now, again, you're full.